National Geographic Readers, Rocks and Minerals by Kathleen Widener Zofeld. It says, introduce children to the exciting world of rocks and minerals, from dazzling gemstones to sparkling crystals to molten lava. And this is a nonfiction text, which means its purpose is to provide information and teach us about a topic, in this case, about rocks and minerals. Rocks are everywhere. Walk outside and look around. You may see rocks right under your feet. Are they gray or black, tan or brown? They might be green, blue, white, pink, or even red. Or maybe they sparkle with lots of different colors. Pick up the rocks. Do they feel smooth or rough? Are they heavy to hold? Or do they feel light in your hands? Rocks look and feel the way they do because of the minerals in them. Amazing minerals. All rocks are made up of minerals. Each mineral has its own special shape called a crystal. Geologists have found many minerals on earth. Some minerals are easy to find. Others are hard to find. Words rock. So this text feature inserts the definition of two of the words that they use in the text. It's like a mini glossary right on the page. Crystal, the shape a mineral takes in a rock when the rock forms. And a geologist is a scientist who studies rocks. So here is a picture. These minerals are easy to find. Quartz, mica, and felspar. Minerals that are hard to find include emerald, sapphire, and gold. Mineral mashup. Some rocks are made of just one mineral, but most rocks are made of two or more. In this first picture, you see it says the mineral gold is often mixed with quartz. Limestone is made up of one mineral. And pegamite is made up of many minerals. Rock groups. Rocks can form in three different ways. So geologists put rocks in three groups. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Another words, rock. Igneous rocks are rocks that are formed by the cooling of super hot rocks. And magma is hot melted rocks that forms inside of the earth and comes out as lava. The first type, igneous rocks. Most of the rocks on our planet are igneous rocks. Igneous rocks begin to form deep inside the earth. Here, the rock is very hot. It is called magma. Magma turns into igneous rock when it cools. Sometimes magma cools slowly underground. When volcanoes erupt, magma pushes up from underground. Above ground, it cools quickly. This is a picture of granite. It says granite forms when magma cools slowly underground. And obsidian forms when lava cools quickly above ground. This caption says, these basalt rocks in Ireland were formed millions of years ago by lava from a volcano. And then here you have a picture of a volcano. It says magma that flows from a volcano is called lava. This caption says, sandstone is made up of grains of sand. Words rock, sedimentary rocks. 
rocks that are formed when many small pieces of rock are glued together. Sedimentary rocks. Rocks are broken into small pieces by wind, rain, and ice. These pieces are called sediment. Sediment is washed or blown into lakes and oceans. The sediment sinks. It builds up in layers on the bottom. Minerals mixed in the water glue rock together. This is one way sedimentary rock is formed. Up here you have shale is made of layers of mud pressed together and conglomerate is made of many things, including sand and pebbles. Metamorphic rocks. On Earth, we stand on huge slabs of rock called tectonic plates. These plates are always moving, but most of the time we can't feel them move. When plates move past each other or crash into each other, the rocks are heated up and squeezed. This changes the rocks. They become metamorphic rocks. Words rock. Metamorphic rocks. Rocks that have been changed through heating and squeezing. Sandstone, sedimentary, becomes quartzite which is metamorphic. Limestone, which is sedimentary, becomes marble, which is metamorphic. This caption says, folded metamorphic rock layers in Italy. Seven cool rock facts. One, the ancient Egyptians built the pyramids with limestone thousands of years ago. They still stand today. Two, diamonds are the hardest minerals on earth. They can even cut steel. Three, the softest mineral in the world is talc. You can crumble it with your fingers. Four, some pumice rocks are so light they float on water. Five, the moon is made mostly of igneous rock. Six, a geode looks like a plain dull rock on the outside. Crack it open and there might be beautiful crystals hidden inside. And seven, obsidian feels as smooth as glass. The rock cycle. Our Earth is like one giant rock factory. Old rocks are breaking into smaller and smaller pieces. New rocks are forming all the time. On Earth, some things happen over and over again in the same order. This is called a cycle. So this cycle shows sedimentary rocks, and then plates are moving and squeezing, and it makes metamorphic rocks. And then you have magma here, right, through the volcano. And then they turn into igneous rocks as they go up through the cycle. Still igneous rocks, they come to the top, and then they continue to go through this cycle. Fossils. Sometimes shells, bones, or other parts of living things get covered in sediment. Water seeps into tiny spaces in the bones or shells. Minerals in the water are left behind. The bones or shells turn into fossils. Fossils can be found in some sedimentary rocks. Down here we see a picture of a shell fossil. And on the right side it says a scientist at work, taking dinosaur bones out of rock. Cool. Gemstones. Gemstones have beautiful crystal shapes and colors. They are often made into jewelry. A diamond in a rock can be made into a dazzling ring. A ruby in a rock is cleaned and cut 
then it is a gem. Here to stay. Look around you at the buildings and roads. Do you see rocks? They are everywhere. Bricks are made of clay minerals. Steps can be made of sandstone. And limestone can be used to make concrete for sidewalks. Many things we build with rocks will still be standing years and years from now. It says the walls of the Washington Mar Monument are made mostly of white marble. The monument is the tallest stonework structure in the world. Stump your parents. Hmm, well, I'm going to try to stump you guys. It says, can your parents answer these questions about rocks? You might know more than they do. Question number one, what comes out of a volcano? Is it pebbles, lava, sediment, or water? The answer is B, lava. Lava comes out of a volcano. Number two, the cycle of old rocks turning into new rocks is called the mineral cycle, the sedimentary cycle, the fossil cycle, or the rock cycle. The answer is D. The cycle of old rocks turning into new rocks is called the rock cycle. Number three. What do you call a scientist who studies rocks? Is it an astronomer, a biologist, a rock star, or a geologist? The answer is D. A geologist is a scientist who studies rocks. Number four, in what type of rocks can you sometimes find fossils? Igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic, or lava? The answer is B, sedimentary. Five, beautiful rock crystals can be made into glitter, rock candy, gems, or toys. The answer is C. Gems. Beautiful rock crystals can be made into gems. Six. What are rocks made of? Minerals, seeds, living things, or wood? The answer is A. Rocks are made of minerals. And lastly, what gives a rock, like this piece of malachite, its color? Is it minerals, paint, seaweed, or crayons? The answer is A, minerals. Awesome, guys. Great job.